Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about anti-roll bars. We'll explain what they are, how they impact the handling of your car, and how you can change them to make your setups better fit your driving style. We're also going to analyze the effects of changes made to the anti-roll bars with the Track Titan platform, where you can analyze your own driving for free and get some extra analysis tools when you sign up using code anti-roll bars. When your car turns through a corner, the anti-roll bars twist and resist the body roll. This helps to keep your car more level and maintain maximum tire contact with the road surface, improving handling and traction. Anti-roll bars can be adjusted to change the stiffness of the car, which allows you to fine-tune the handling characteristics to suit different track conditions and your own driving style. When setting up the anti-roll bars, you can increase their stiffness or soften them up. Stiffer anti-roll bars have the effect that the car will lean less in turns, which causes the car to shift its weight more progressively and makes it more stable. A softer anti-roll bar will have the opposite effect, letting the weight shift around more, allowing for increased body roll and potentially some oversteer. A common misconception about the anti-roll bars is that stiffer is always better, which is not true. A rule of thumb you can work with is that softer most often means more grip, which goes for anti-roll bars, for the springs, the tire pressures and so on. But beware that in the case of anti-roll bars, setting them up too soft can cause a little oversteer. Now we have a front and a rear anti-roll bar to tinker with and these have the following effects. The front anti-roll bar mostly impacts the behavior of our car on corner entry and the rear ARB mostly impacts the behavior of our car when we get on the throttle on corner exit. Before changing anything, we gotta have a goal in mind when making setup changes. And this is of great importance when we're changing the anti-roll bars. So if we're having trouble on corner entry, we would want to change our front anti-roll bar. In case of understeer during corner entry, we want to soften them up a little bit, which means lowering the anti-roll bar value in ACC. In case of oversteer on corner entry, we do the opposite. We stiffen them up a little bit, which means increasing the value. Now, if we're having trouble on corner exit, we can look to the rear anti-roll bars. We can soften up the rear anti-roll bar if we're struggling with a lot of oversteer, and we can stiffen it up a little bit if we're dealing with a lot of understeer. Of course, we want to show you some effects of making changes to the anti-roll bars. We can beautifully see the effects of changing the ARB settings through Silverstone's Luffield Corner when we compare these two laps on a Track Titan platform. The orange driver is using the standard aggressive setup, while in the blue driver's case the anti-roll bars have been softened up a little bit. In the speed chart we can see that the blue driver maintains a higher minimum speed throughout the corner while having virtually the same racing line. Now this is a great example of the increased grip softer anti-roll bars provide. Anti-roll bars have a big impact on the handling of our car. They greatly influence the nervousness of our vehicle in corners. Remember that softening up the anti-roll bars allows for more body roll. So more weight is shifting around and making them stiffer does the opposite. The front anti-roll bar mostly impacts the entry phase of corners and changes to the rear anti-roll bar has greater impact on the exit phase. Now let us know if you learned something new from this video or if you have any questions about what we've been talking about today. Check out Track Titan in the description down below if you want to easily analyze your own sim racing and we hope to see you in the next video.